I'm going to show you how to build a simple wooden garden box for under ten dollars. For example, shown here. So over the past years, I've watched my mom and dad um, build and plant gardens, and this year I decided that I wanted to have my own garden. So you can see here that I had my own flower garden, which I chose my own flowers. And um, I had my own custom garden box. Um, not only are they cheap and cost ten less than ten dollars, they are very durable and last for ten years. An estimate, and they are you. They are made using pressure coated wood, so they can't be eaten by termites or they can rot. This right here. A 10 year old garden box, which you know is still okay. Yeah, so it looks like it, some of it has rot, some of it has been eaten by two nights, but it's still okay. Well, to show you how to build a garden box from scratch, I'm going, I don't have any materials. So we're gonna have to take a trip, a quick trip to Lowe's, which is less than a mile away from my house. So anyways, let's go. This is Lowe's, my dad's favorite hardware store. And if Home Depot was closer, then he would prefer it because, you know, Lowe's is less than a mile away from our house. An indoor lumber yard, like, right across from low on Lowe's, but this is the garden section, and we buy the lumber from all the way in the back, behind from where I'm I'm looking at you. We are going to get these kinds of wood, which are part of a picket fence over there, as you can see. The thickness is is eight is five eighths of an inch and the width is five inches and the length or height is six feet. So we're gonna buy five of these which would be less than ten dollars. I'm just estimating. Pressure treated wood has chemicals, so normally you would use a glove to handle it. So since I didn't bring my my gloves, I'm gonna let my dad handle it. And if you use your hands to treat to touch pressure treated wood, then you would have to wash your hands after. And anyways, you have to choose wood that's not white or crooked. Five pieces of picket wood. And now we're gonna buy them and go. Normally we wouldn't just go to buy wood, we would buy some other stuff. But since we're in a hurry and making a video and doing a demonstration, I'd say it's worth it. So you can see from the receipt here that um, it is 872 in total. That including tax. <clears throat> and even if you buy nails, it would still be less than this is the indoor lumber section. Just like the outdoor section, but there's more wood. Normally, my dad would use what prefer this because it's bulkier and it's more sturdier. But look at this price. This price. 637 for just one, one of these. I mean like, that's, that's like six times the price that we have now. So that would be $48 at least. In order to keep the video at a respectable length, we're gonna take a five minute break. And please stay tuned for the next segment.